Hello and welcome to Divination, a podcast and YouTube show by Elegant Themes. This show is all about providing you with inspiration, tips and techniques and support around the products that we produce at Elegant Themes. I'm your host Mac and in this video I'll be showing you how to add a link on the image on your full width slider. Now sometimes you may want to do this if you don't want to add text or buttons on your full width slider images. To achieve this effect, I'll be using a bit of CSS code. So this code is free for you to use. So I'll provide the link in the show notes below. So let me show you how you can achieve this. Before we get started, let me explain what the CSS code does. So basically it makes the button larger and then hides it hiding the text and also the button background. So the first thing you need to do is to log into your WordPress admin. I've gone ahead and logged into my WordPress admin. So the next thing you need to do is to navigate to the page where you need to add the slider to. In my case, I need to add the slider to the services page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, um, on the dashboard and then go to all pages and then find the page you need to work on. So my page here is uh, services. I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. And then next we're going to add a full width section. So I'm going to go ahead and click on full width section. And then I'm going to click on insert modules. So the module I need to insert in here, since we need to add the slider is the full width slider. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So next, what you need to do is to add this CSS code to the CSS tab. So I'll scroll down to where it says slide button and paste the code. If you'd like to try this yourself, I've provided this code in the show notes below, or you can go directly to our blog and you can simply copy and paste this and try it out. Okay. So now that we have the code in there, go ahead and click on save and exit. And then next, now we need to add the sliders. So I'm going to go into um, the, the settings and I'm going to go ahead and click on add new slide. So I want to ignore the heading part and uh, I'm just going to put some text in there and I'm just going to type in text. And I'm going to select the image. Now, if you don't have the image in your image library, what you can do is you can just go on to upload files and upload the image from your computer. So the image I'm going to go with here is uh, this one for the first image. And then I'm going to set it as the background. Okay. So that's looking good so far on the button URL. This is where you can choose where you want this link to go to. So in my case, I want this to link to our own elegant themes website. So I'm going to copy the URL and paste it here on this section. Okay. So now that we've got that, uh, that's all we need to do. Go ahead and click on save. Okay. So now that we've saved this, uh, go ahead and click on add new slide so we can add the second slide. So here again, I'm just going to add some text into the button text. I'm going to call this text two. And for the URL this time, I need to link to the blog. So I'm going to press command C to copy control C on PC. And then I'm going to paste the URL right here. So go ahead and add the image. And this time I'm going to choose this chocolate cake. All right. So go ahead and click on save as background and then click on save. Now that we have all the elements in place, we can now go ahead and click on save and exit. But before we do that, let me just do a quick preview and see if these links are working. So as we do this preview, we can see that um, uh, the, the mouse pointer is showing that there is a link on this image. So that's looking good. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and exit and then click on update. And then finally, we need to preview this page and see if this is working correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on view page. Okay. So it looks like our slider is in place and just to test to see if it's working. If I click this right arrow, we can see that the image changes. That's brilliant. Now the main thing is, we need to click on this image to see if this is going to take us to the links that we uh, set them to. So if I click here, we can see straight away, it's taken us to the main um, elegant themes blog. And then if we hit back and also try the other one, this one should take us to the blog. 
and surely it's right here at the blog. So there you have it. This is how you add a link to your background images on your full width sliders. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing more and more of these video tips and tutorials. So just keep an eye on that. And also we are counting down to the release of Divi 3.0, a new way of designing websites using Divi. Until the next video, thanks for watching and see you later. Hello and welcome to day 72 of our Divi 100 marathon. Sometimes when designing websites, it takes time to design your wireframes in either Photoshop, uh, Illustrator or any other wireframing uh, software. So what Divi has done is uh, we've put together a wireframe UI kit which you can use to prototype your websites before you start building the actual website. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to use and install our wireframe UI kit.